Okay, we've got our locating holes. They're all drilled through. Um, we've got our pins in here, or at least four of them. And all we need to do now is locate this. Uh, handy tip. Um, trying to get this located in here is a bit of a pain. Uh, but if you've got a really powerful torch like this um, tap light here, then you can shine it underneath. You can actually see where the pins are and uh, helps you locate them easier. Right, we're ready to start cutting. First thing, where this is actually the back of the guitar, uh, and the first thing we're going to cut is the preamp pocket and the battery pocket on the back here, which kind of fit there. I had to double and triple check to make sure that was in the right place. So, um, yeah, let's get cracking. time I've cut ash with my CNC machine. It's very clean actually, beautifully smooth. A um, little bit of tear out, uh, fraying at the top there, nothing major. Nice chip stream coming off of that, so we call that a success. Right, change a tool and then uh, we can get on with the rest of it. Nicely, it's amazing what a sharp tool uh, does. You could hardly hear the cutting on that compared to the 8mm older cutter, which is getting a little bit past its sell by date. Probably due for a change on that one, but 10mm, absolutely brilliant. And uh, I can't see plywood in the bottom of these holes, which is great because that means I've got then the um, depth of material left on the front of the guitar uh, to put the switches into so good news so far now we've got to do is uh, turn this over and start machining the front
<laughs> right, so paper thin edge around there, which is torn through. Let's just see if we can avoid it splintering. Bit of fraying here and there, generally in a pretty good shape. I mean, this has gone, got to be sanded. I've also got to put a route in for the binding on both sides. Um, yes, success. So there we go. We've got the preamp and control. There's a switch there and a potentiometer to go in there. So we've got those cavities done. We've got the battery <coughs> uh, cavity for the 9 volt battery. Standard telecaster front other than the two switches. They haven't all gone all the way through. Um, so I'll either have to, well I'll just put a drill bit through there. It won't be a problem. And then we've got our route at the front for the humbucker as well. So there we are, body cut out, um, fairly successful. There's a few bits and pieces I need to probably just tidy up in the tool paths. Anyway, so let me just uh, check that's all in shop. <laughs> there we go. There's not much, um, if any, roughness around the sides certainly a lot less than the Jaguars when I did those so this is not going to take much at all a little bit of sanding um, and then it's ready for for lacquer so a lot less preparation than the last one and um, there's not even a can't even feel a lip where the join on the indexing was, so I'll call that pretty much a success. Um, oh hang on, no, there might be a little bit there, but nothing that a quick bit of sanding won't sort out. So um, yeah, there you go, so that's how we get a, uh, a body that's too wide from a cutting area out of the machine. Um, right, the CAD, the link for it should be displayed on the screen somewhere around about now uh, just put it in Dropbox actually so you can download the CAD it's the single coil version um, and no tool paths I'm afraid uh, don't do tool paths because if your machine is not as rigid or better than this one and there's a lot on the market that are not as rigid and better this one than this one then um, you'll end up pulling your machine to pieces if you try running some of the tool paths especially the some of the trochoidal stuff uh, that I was doing earlier yeah some of those are a bit aggressive in fact I might even back them off a little bit because they were causing chatter on my machine so yes anyway so Thanks for watching as ever. Next time, uh, what are we doing next time? Next time we'll be doing the route for the binding, getting that on, uh, and basically get the body prepped up for, for lacquer. And now as the weather's getting warmer, I can start doing lacquering and spraying again. There's also another project which um, actually I'm more than halfway through, uh, and I'll get the video up for that shortly. That's also music guitar related. Uh, and you'll just have to see what that is when it arrives. So thanks for watching it as ever. And I'll see you on the next video.